technically you have to go through a process of reversing the rating. Um, I'm trying to avoid getting into the details. Well, when you look at the matrix, you, you, if we look at the yeah, matrix, you see. Just like depending on the meaning, though. Oh, the meaning. It, it just means that I that in the process of matching to, to see consensus, the ratings were reversed. So I used a mirror image of it. That's all. So it means that, for instance, biometrics were equally or among the highest ranked um, as photo, as in the presence of a photo. But if I had tried to match a 5 to 5 rating and match a 4 to 4 rating, I'd have had no matches. However, what I had was wherever I had a 5 in photo, I had a 1 in biometric. So it, it just means that I had to reverse the ratings of the biometric for the purpose of the consensus matching here. So all the experts agreed that it was not important. All the experts agreed that it was, that it was equally unimportant as um, as photo is important, exactly. So, so obviously, this is unimportant. Yes, right. Although it is, there's a lot of consensus that it's unimportant, right? Yeah, there are means unimportant, right? Isn't that a little bit unintuitive that advanced biometrics would be considered unimportant? It was. That was one of the surprises for me that people wouldn't be interested in having biometrics on a document. You're saying you had DNA things on your ID document? Yeah. However, this is the first scenario. So that doesn't count. Yeah. This is the first scenario, which is the low tech scenario. So they, they sort of said, well, low tech, this, you know, advanced biometrics. Oh, you wouldn't believe me. I see. You in wouldn't a low tech environment. It's a low tech. <laughs> it's on a paper driver's license. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> I see. Right. I see. Um, the second scenario, um, that's the high tech, no high tech, but still weak authentication. Um, you see that the, the cluster, the highest uh, consensus cluster, cluster now is the issue of reliability, the date issue, and the date of expiry. Um, and here, again, both the highest rated and the highest consensus now seem to be more related to data quality than they are to. To physical characteristics of the person. Presumably, no, because remember, high tech assumes that you may have a digital document and you may have a virtual person. So the person may not even be there. So no, they rely on data, not on physical features, which which makes right. sense to me. Oh yes, sure. So biometrics doesn't seem to show up in any of the four. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Which, as I say, was a surprise for me. Yeah. Theory, right? Why? I'm talking to these people. Yeah, yeah I am. I am. Um, and I asked, I actually asked the security <coughs> person about that. And his comment was, he said, you know, biometrics is nice and all of that, but it's too easy to copy data, especially when you're in a virtual, virtual document uh -huh. environment. You can copy the data and nobody has any idea. Yeah, they don't let you use fingerprints for encryption. They don't use biometrics for encryption for as your key because you can't revoke it. You can't you, you can't issue a new key. You can't take away your fingerprints and give you a new one. <laughs> DNA is forever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. But I mean that was that was a comment I actually had from one security person. He said he doesn't like. Although he's a high tech guy, he says he doesn't like biometrics because it's too easy to copy the data. That's a good insight because if you, if I, if someone has tampered my password, then I can change the password. But if someone actually <laughs> stolen my DNA information, then it's gone. I can. That's right. I can't do anything. That's right. That's right. Um, I, as I said, even here, I. I mentioned, I mean, I was really surprised that the tampa proofing, the electronics, and the biometrics were all so low rated. Um, but I guess it goes back to that comment from that one person who said, you can copy data. The third scenario is the low tech strong authentication now. And here there are two distinct clusters um, the um, um, signature and photo, they kind of go together. Low tech now means essentially that you have a physical document, a physical person. Uh, strong authentication means a single issuer. You, have, you can trust that the document is tamper proof and so on. So now, 
Uh, again, the dates, the data this year and the data next Friday, those come up as being very important in this scenario, as with the signature and photo. Although all of these are part of, a, of one general cluster, which is about 85%. But there are two distinct clusters in here as far as the consensus is concerned. So what I've done is I've tried to, I've tried to overlay the rating, because I have these in order of rating. I've tried to overlay those with the, with the consensus. That's what the color codes are. Okay. Um, one interesting thing that came to me, and I put it here, although it applies across all of the, all of the different scenarios, the last item. Employment status data, the, the experts don't seem to care very much about that, which again surprised me because I'm in a bank environment. I would have thought that employment status, which is such a big deal for credit, would matter. And apparently it matters for credit, but it turns out that from what I can see here, the, the experts clearly separate the identity checking process from the credit history process. In their minds, they're different different processes because I focus them very clearly on identity checking. So perhaps that's why. Yes, Deborah. The government issue says unimportant? Yes, the authentication. These there was a generally um, uh, <coughs> these were the lowest rated these were the lowest rated items. Of the set. Um, and there's consensus, relative, relative to the, there's like 85% consensus that they are relatively low, low rated. Low in the sense of being lower than all of these other items that, that are rated above them, that's all. And not much lower? No, not, not by very much. Yes, John? What's the definition of authentic? Authentication? authentication. Yeah, okay. Um, the authentication database, that, um, that just says that there is a database available that you can authenticate the identity document. If it's if it's a strong authentication environment, then it's available real time. If it's a weak authentication environment, then it's available. Maybe you have to wait 24 to 48 hours, or you have to send an email, or make a call and wait for an answer. So that's so the authentication.